Hello everyone, this is Chris with SickerFab. Today we're going to be talking about our options for USB-C to radar cord power. Now on the end of these, we have a USB-C port and we have an RJ11. Now this is a common plug that plugs into radar detectors such as this Escort Max 360C Mark II that I have in my hands. There's also Valentine, Valtronics, and a number of different radars that use this plug. Pretty much looks like a telephone plug on one end. Now we started doing these cables because a lot of brand new vehicles have their power ports in weird positions. Uh, they'll have their 12 volt cigarette plug in a weird place or they don't have a 12 volt cigarette plug at all now. So a lot of new vehicles have USB-C ports. We have a V1 which is just pretty much a straight cable and then we have a V2 which has a little power converter right here. Now these original cables are good for QC slash PD compatible outlets. Now those outlets can output five volts or even higher. A lot of those outlets are not found in many vehicles. Some Teslas tend to have them, but even other new EV vehicles do not. Our Bronco has the USB-C port, our Defender has the USB-C port, but they are not QC or PD compatible. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what the output of a QC or PD port will do to your radar and if you have that appropriate one which we do in this AC outlet how that will work. The rest of us will have to use these universal cables. Now these convert 5 volts to 12 volts and that's what your radar uses. Inside this box you'll see a little red light that lights up once you've supplied it power. So we have our original USB-A to RJ11 cord and of course it powers up our radar detector with no issues. Now let's see what happens if we put a USB-C version one in this port that we know is not QC or PD compatible. Low voltage. So it powers on, but then it gets the low voltage notice. Now let's put in the version two. You can see that red light. Now our radar detector powers up and there's no issues at all. Let's use a known QC PD output adapter and see what happens with the version one. And this test will pretty much mimic what some of the newer Teslas have already built in. These USB-C ports look exactly the same on the face, but they function differently. All right, so here's that version two in my hands. I've plugged in this version one to a QCPD adapter. It's an AC adapter and we have an AC inverter in the back of this vehicle. So it powers up and you get no low voltage warning because the adapter has automatically detected that it needs to output 12 volts. So I hope that was helpful in determining which cable you need for your vehicle and radar detector. If you guys have any more questions, both before purchase or after purchase, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at stickerfab.com. If you need to purchase a cable, go to stickerfab.com.